Hey guys, this is Aaron from Fishing with the Pros, and I'm doing a tackle review. And, um, well, this is my tackle box. It's pretty big, as you can see. I'm going to start on the top, uh, open it up. You can come in here and look at it. over here. This is all my stuff. First, on the top I have these Trigger X um, trailers for the jig heads and all kind and, that, and spinner baits and all kinds of stuff that you can put that in the back. I'll bring that up to you. So you can see it, Trigger X. I heard that's a pretty good brand. Um, also have these Salt Racker Lizards, Jelly Lizards, they're, I'll take one out for you. They're black with the orange tail. They're actually, I've heard the, about them, they're really good. I have a whole kit for jig fishing, a whole big kit for rim and crappy and all kinds of stuff like that. It opens up and you have all this stuff. Keep all the jig heads and stuff like that. You can see it. Take a good look at that. And I also have my case where I keep all my swivels, my um, my and my weights. It's very hard to open though, so I'll just be good to good look at that. Um, I have this light up bobber that I got at Dick's Sporting Goods. It's good for catfishing out at night when you can't see your bobber and you like to use a bobber for catfishing. It's a light up bobber. It lights up in the night. It's actually really, really good for fishing, for catfish when in the dark because they bite best at dark. You should know that. And I have a pack of baby brush hogs. They're personally actually one of my favorites from Zoom. Baby brush hogs. I catch a lot of bass on these. There's only two left. I gotta start restocking on them. Zoom baby brush hogs. I'll take one out for you. Oh, like that. I got the little tails and then the thing and then the little arms. Good for bass fishing. And then down on my second section. Down my first pull-out drawer has all my jelly lizards and all my lizards and baits lizards and stuff like that if you can bring the camera around. I have a pack of these red worms. I actually catch a lot of stuff on these red worms. They're really good for bass fishing. I have a lot of good stuff for bass fishing. Um, I have these Lucky Strike. These um, blue, blue Lucky Strike lizards. Got a bunch of them. I heard they're really good. Nice lizards. Blue, purple, bass like that color. Um, let me put these back real quick. Then I have, these are pretty much my favorite thing from Zoom. These white jelly lizards, they actually work really good. The white helps the bat, the white helps the bass get a good look at them. So they like to eat them. They're actually very, very good baits. I catch all my bass on these. This is probably my favorite bait from Zoom. I recommend these. You should go out to the store. Bass Pro Shops, any fishing, good fishing store, you can buy them. Probably not Walmart because Walmart doesn't sell very good stuff. It's pretty much not, not the best place to get fishing. So. These are some more Zoom Jelly Lizards there, the pumpkin color, their red pumpkin color, as you can probably see them in there, and they're pretty good. Uh, and then up here, here, bring your camera on up, up here is all my um, other baits that don't aren't in the cases. I have my Senkos, my, um, my um, long-tailed worms like these, all different colors, and then I have these. These are a professional custom-made bait that a, um, a professional fisherman actually gave these to me. Really nice guy. 
he then when you hold them up in the sun they turn purple obviously there's no sun right now so you can't really see it that much but and then I have all my really long worms jelly worms all different colors down in here and I have my zoom my zoom worms these are the zoom trick baits trick worms they're actually nice all different colors I got them in pink um, green and then I have these they're Gary Yamamoto um, I forget what they're called but they're from Gary Yamamoto they're actually they're good for bass but what I from what I've heard some cat catfish like these I didn't really think that was true until um, I actually had an encounter on, of a catfish on one of these it's pretty surprising actually every once in a while you might catch catfish on one of these what you do is you bring them up and then let them sink down and catfish really like that for some reason I, just, I don't know the bass baits but catfish like them and they're, but they're pretty good you should go ch buy some and then and then uh, and the second drawer is all my hard baits Over here here's um, one of our sponsors real fish bait company is one of his swim baits really really nice um, bass little baby bass swim bait nice big treble hook sharp hooks I really like the way the eyes are in the mouth it's actually pretty big for if you're looking for bigger game fish. This is good for that. And here I have my hula popper. I really like these because the bass, it, um, during the summertime, you can throw these out in the top of the water. You don't even have to pop them. The bass will just come up and grab them. It's really, it's really good. It's worms. Um, here's one of my um, fire tiger um, poppers. It's nice. It's got a nice little feathery back back hook to it it's um very good pop actually very good pop and nice silver sharp hooks and here i have um crankbait from the mangler actually very nice well very well engineered crankbaits um fire tiger crankbait nice treble hooks it actually swims really through the water really good nice bait to use and um have another mangler um, squid bait. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's like a spinner bait. Um, I don't know exactly the name of the bait, but I know it's a spinner bait. Um, it's actually really good. I've caught about at least one bass on this. I haven't gotten to use it a lot though, because we just got it during the winter time, and bass don't usually like these kind of baits during the winter. I don't get a lot of them on these. More deep crankbaits is what I usually catch bass on in the winter. Um, over here, I have some more. I have this nice crankbait. It's um, a really, really nice brown crankbait. I catch a lot of bass on it. It gets about eight feet, around eight to ten feet deep. Really nice yellow eyes. The bass like the yellow eyes. I don't, I don't know why. They just do. And um, it's very, very good um, swimming through the water. And then I have this. Swim bait, this um, Calcutta, blue Calcutta swim, swim bait. Um, I just got it. Actually, it, its tail spins really well through the water. That's what I'm really surprised about how the tail spins through the water. I'm, I'm pretty sure the bass are gonna love the blue color on it. And once I try it out, I can't wait to try it out this summer. But um, and then I just have. These are two, um, this is one um, spinner bait. It's got the big fish chasing the little fish with a little weight on the bottom hook to help the, I don't know, I guess to help it sink in the air, but in the water, but I've caught some pretty good fish on this. And then I also have another one just like it, except it doesn't have the little fish in the front. It doesn't have a treble hook on it right now, but I just ordered some treble hooks, about to get them in. I'm gonna do an unboxing on, on all the stuff that I just ordered from Bass Pro Shops. So that'll be probably our next video. And um, then I have this big, big, huge, huge crankbait. It's for a bigger, bigger bass during the winter. It gets around 11, 12 feet deep. It gets really deep, wi wider, wider lip to it. And um, it's yellow, white, and greenish. And they have this really nice, really kind of expensive little um, spinner bait. It's, it's a little like fish head with a nice, nice blue and red um, spinner on it. It's really good.
last I have on the bottom is my weights and hooks. Um, here's some of my hooks. These are all Gamagatsu hooks. Those are what I prefer. Let me get one out real quick. Gamagatsu, the red Gamagatsu hooks. I really like these because red hooks are really good for fish because the fish think that think the red from the hook is the, either the bait bleeding or just bl blood coming from the bait and they like that they think the bait's injured so oh this bait's injured I'll go bite on this bait since I can get it easier and then I have another pack of jelly lizard hooks for gamagatsu and then I have some bullet weights and that's pretty much all of my tackle box um, again go check out Check out some of our sponsors, Real Fish Bait Companies, um, The Mangler, all kinds of, all of our sponsors, and um, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe, and bye.